What's up guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So really quick, I just want to make a quick video in response. I just heard some stuff on Nick Strength and Power that we've got a, uh, a gentleman named by the name of Robert Oberst kind of uh, badgering our, our man Thor and I want to watch the video right now with you guys and uh, you can listen to it um, I'm not gonna get all fancy and try to put it in screen or anything like that um, but I'm gonna listen to it and let's take a look we're setting world records in the garage today world record day huh. you guys want to see a world record huh who wants to see a world record it counts my dogs here my training partners here it means it counts. World record counting. You guys want to see it? <sighs> Jack 3D or C4? That's a great question. Old Jack 3D. Old Jack 3D is the best. But I definitely don't think you can find it anymore. You guys see this? We're gonna, I'm going to show you a new world record. You guys stay right here. You can watch. What is it, like 550 pounds or some shit? 550 kilo. 550 kilo. 550 kilograms. Yeah. My dog counted it. Counts. <laughs> nice. There you go. Woo! Somebody send me a plaque. Says WUS strongest presser official world record for WUS. You guys just saw it here. Makes it official. Look, one, two, three plates, and and the bar, which everyone knows that's 500 kilos, obviously. So somebody send my check. Send it to me out here in Idaho. Not allowed to work, but I can definitely collect my money for that. Too easy. Too easy. Huh? These world records are getting easier and easier now. So I'm going to continue to uh, work out here and probably break some more world records. But every day seems to be just world record day, you know? That was really mean. Like, why would you say that? <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that, man. That's just so disrespectful. It's not even funny. I don't know, man. I see him, like, not really up and coming, but I, like, see him, you know, cruising around with, like, Eddie and stuff and that other bald dude. And it seems like there's like a little pack of them that do shows and stuff like that. Shows like TV and stuff like that. That aren't really as strong as the like strongest dudes. And I'm not saying they're not strong. Obviously, they're all a hell of a lot stronger than I am or may ever be. Why would people do that? Robert, like... Bro, like, you don't, it's it's a shame, man, because you don't really see Thor running around saying stuff until you all egg him on, and it's like, <sighs> that's a shame, man, that's disappointing. It's disappointing because you guys are in the same sport. You know, it's disappointing because, you know, just a couple weeks ago, you had like this whole heartfelt thing and this try to reach out to Thor's heart thing and stuff like that and urge him not to do it and everything like that. And now you come out like belittling him, publicly making 
a mockery of one of the strongest people in the world. I don't think that speaks to anybody's character but yours or lack thereof. It's sad, man, that people do that stuff. That's really sad. I'm like appalled by that. I don't even like I'm speechless about how disrespectful that was, man. Like my dogs here. I think what it boils down to is it's a perfect example of when you get big, real big, you got haters and you got, you got haters that are like real close to you like you couldn't get any closer and it's sad because like what would be the point of being so mean and disrespectful what do you gain from that like do you gain clout do you get clout from that do you you get views from that is that what you want because in all honesty like, I wouldn't follow somebody like that. You know? There's... You're you're getting a, a actual judge because of the situation that's going on with the world. And it's actually, you know, like, everything's going to be done legit. And it, it's sad because this whole thing that's going on with the world you're really seeing like people's true colors man and I understand the irony of strong and pretty but and it was funny till now just that's messed up man you should say a straight up public apology for that dude like, because you're talking about some of the people that are at the peak of the game that you're playing. And what do you think is going to happen if you get there? You're just asking for people to drag you down, man. I don't know. Robert, I just lost all respect, bro. I'm sorry, but that was, that was clowning on a whole new level. Like, you're in, like, high school now. You're like a sixth grade bully, dude. And that's petty. Like, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that was, that was petty. I'm sorry. That was <laughs> Thor, bro. Pull that weight. And for those of us that believe in you, <laughs> That's all that matters. Don't be listening to clowns like that, man. And Robert, yeah, you're you you shouldn't have done that, dude. That was rude. That was like I grew up with so many people like you, man. I'm sorry. I can't I can't I can't even express this. Like this is that's a joke. That's a joke, man. I don't even think it needs to be expressed. You're not even the dude that's, he's beating your record and you're clowning. You ain't got nothing to clown on. Where's your deadlift? 